Those who knew Ty Abner are honoring him in their own way while his alleged attacker's case moves through court. Abner had organized some events to raise money for the charities that he cared about. And as Victor Puente reports, his husband and neighbors are making sure those go on. Ty Abner's friends and family tell me he planned to be here this weekend, operating the haunted house that he built to entertain neighborhood kids and raise money for a good cause. Now they're dealing with the fact that he was murdered Monday night. They say they plan to continue on the work he started. Ty Abner's neighbor and friend told me he built his first haunted house a few years ago. He came out and he says, we're going to have five rooms. And I said, I said, man, you got, you got a two car garage. How are you going to get all of that in a two car garage? And so he says, you'll see. And with a little hard work, they did. The garage of the home Abner shared with his husband, John, became a haunted house with multiple rooms and special effects. Coots said Uncle Ty, as he was known, even involved his kids. He would tell my sons, uh, you know, get, get dressed up, I need actors, and kids would come up the street to come to the haunted house, and he would say, take your places, actors ready. Now they're carrying on, even though Abner won't be there, dressed up as Tiggles the Clown. Uh, it was a shock. We, we were all shocked. Um, it hurt. Uh, we're, we're sad. It's going to take some time to get over. Not only did Abner entertain the neighborhood, he also asked for donations. The animal lover raised money for the Lexington Humane Society. They're going to do their best this weekend to treat everyone as Ty would have. Show Halloween, show kindness to everyone, treat everyone with respect, make everyone feel like they're the only person in the room, make every person feel loved. That haunted house will be open Saturday and Sunday from 7.30 to 10 here at 740 Nickwood Trail. Even if you aren't a fan of scary things, you can still stop by and make a donation for the Humane Society. In Lexington, Victor Puente, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Abner worked part time at Pies and Pints downtown. They were closed today to give employees time to grieve.